All right, children, it is our turn to come together and I have a question for you. Is there someone who you can always trust? Like if you had an issue coming up, who could you turn to for help? I think you have some people, maybe your grown-ups, maybe your siblings, maybe your cousin, best friend, maybe your pet. <laughs> um, all of those all those people and beings are helpful and they are, are great. I'm so glad you have them in your life. But you think about it more and you're like, actually, there is that time where they let me down a little bit, where they forgot to do something and whatever else. They're just all people, including ourselves, are not perfect. We will make mistakes, but we do have someone who all of us can trust and never make, makes mistakes and is perfect. And it is, you probably said God or Jesus, and that would be right. Like God is perfect and wonderful and loving. And the thing is, he doesn't just stay separate from us and just like, I'm perfect by myself, stay away from me. Instead, he decides to be with us, to care about us, to encourage us. And in Isaiah 40, which the message is going to be about today is there's there's verses that literally tell us if we put our hope and our trust in God, that he'll renew our strength, that we'll be able to soar like eagles, like on the wings of eagles, we'll run and not get tired and all these other things. Can you imagine? I mean, he's not going to make us superhuman. I don't think, I don't know. God can do whatever he wants. But imagine being able to do something and not getting tired because God is with you and encouraging you to do something. Because, you, you know, sometimes it's hard helping people. Sometimes it's hard um, to do something, do the right thing when everyone else is not doing the right thing. But as long as we continue to trust in the Lord, um, he'll continue to be with us and give us the strength to keep doing what's right. So boys and girls, we're going to pray and we're going to ask that God will continue to help us to put our hope in him and then to be able to continue to live a life that would be pleasing to him, to the Lord. And you, now let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for our all of our children, all of our families. And Lord, most importantly, we thank you for your love for us that you include us in all the different things you're doing in the world to make it better. And Lord, whenever we get discouraged, I pray that we turn to you and we know that you're going to be there for us. So thank you for that. And we pray that you would continue to be with all of our kids and bless them as they are in school and as they try to do their best for you. We pray this all in your son's name. Amen.